feel like I'm in the Call On Me music video from the 90s. <laughs> I don't think I can pull these off. Shoe. My God. Yeah, I can. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. How do people look cute in these? Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Hello, hi, I'm Katie. And in today's video, I just felt like doing a really random off the cuff, like clearly I've not made myself up or got ready for this at all. I am just, <laughs> I've had some ASOS parcels arrive. I'm gonna film a what to take skiing, especially for people who've never skied before or maybe are going on like a first trip um, because it's actually really hard to know what to take. Like even as someone who's, I've done two ski seasons, I've been on many ski holidays in my life, but still now I'm like, right, what do I need? Because it seems like a lot compared to like a regular holiday where you just need like a few bikinis and some sun stuff. You need like stuff for all occasions. You don't know what the weather's gonna be like. It can be quite stressful, quite like overwhelming. Um, also, I feel like I had loads of ski questions related over on my Instagram. So I will try and answer those in that video as well. Um, but in today's video, basically I ordered lots of stuff from ASOS um, because we're going on a ski trip in two weeks, I think it is, two weeks Saturday. And um, maybe by the time you're watching this, I might be there, but I know a lot of people will be in the same boat and being like, oh my God, what should I order? Where should I get it from? Um, so I did a big order on ASOS of like some key essentials that you might need. Um, so it's kind of like a little mini haul, but it's like a ski wear haul. Um, ASOS. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I've ordered, also ordered some moon boots, and I feel like they're, they're one of those things you're like, do I need them? Don't I need them? So, last year I ordered some like dupey kind of ones um, to see if I would wear them, and I did wear them a little bit. Um, I didn't wear them as much as I thought I would, so that's just something to bear in mind. And I did feel like in slushy snow they get quite dirty, so just bear that in mind when you think of colours of Uggs. Uh, them as well but I wanted to know what the difference was between like a dupe pair and the actual real moon boot so I feel like with an Ugg it might be the same but I don't know we'll wait and see um and yeah I just was really excited to crack into these parcels so I thought I'd actually end up filming I guess two kinds of videos with the stuff I've ordered but then I will also incorporate in the other video stuff like my own skiing stuff where it's from like what I'll be taking exactly what I'm packing to take on my ski trip um, so yeah, I'm quite excited to see what's in here. Lots of warm, cosy things by the look of it. Also ASOS did have a really good sale on. I'm not sure if this is coming up really, really bright. Maybe it's just because it's a white background. My brand new panel and I finished painting this morning. Um, or if it is just my eyes in the uh, viewfinder, who knows. But I have three big ASOS parcels to get through. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna chat you through them. If anything looks like it needs a good try on, we will do some cutaways of them. Um, but yeah, let's just see what we've got. So starting off, cozy layer. Got this cute little hat. This is quite quick, quite sweet. I feel like there's so many really nice hats out at the minute. Actually, this is really nice. I feel like I'm sold on that one already. Um, but finding like a good hat for your shape head is quite hard. Like sometimes they're like really squidged in, sometimes they make your head look a weird shape, but yeah, this is nice. I really like this. Okay, this hat was 22 pound bag. Really, really warm, really, really cozy, really, really nice. I do like the Goldberg ones I've seen. If you've not, if you're a brand new skier, you would have probably have heard of Goldberg. You might, you might have heard of some ski brands, I don't know. Um, they're like a dreamy luxury brand. And I've also seen some nice, um, what was the other hat I saw that was really nice? I think Varley is the brand, which I've never tried, but if anyone has, do let me know if it's any good. Um, but yeah, I really like that hat. That's a fab little first find. I think I've got another hat in here somewhere, so. Oh, I also got the headband. <laughs> I've seen so many like ski chic um, Pinterest that I was like, I need a headband, but they all have like, Thick hair and like all these little headbands in, so I'll just try it and see. If I just pulled on my eyebrows down, so I need to go and brush them now. <laughs> Can I pull this off? Is a question. I feel like they have them to keep it. I feel like I'm in the call on me music video from the 90s. <laughs> um, why do some people look so chic in these things, and then I just feel like a 
twat. <laughs> oh my God, it makes my forehead look huge. Okay, I'm thinking this is a no. Sorry. How do people look cute in these? I, without sounding unkind, I sound, I look like I'm ill. I look like I'm unwell. Like I'm in hospital and they've had to like shave my head or something. I don't understand how people look nice in them. No, no, nothing about this looks nice. Nothing. I want to see like how I'm meant to be wearing it. They have, maybe they have it further down the forehead. <laughs> okay, let's try it down here. So my eyebrows. Here. So I pull my head down, push it back. What do I do? I'm, I'm gonna go with no. Unfortunately, but hopefully you might have got a giggle out of it. Oh, okay, we're starting this haul on headwear because next I have some earmuffs, which I was saying to Reese the other day, I was like, are they only cute on like kids or actually can adults pull them up and they, they look quite cute too? So we shall see. Because honestly, you actually do really, really need stuff at this when you're old. <gasps> They're really cute ones. Oh my god, oh my god, they're actually amazing. They actually have like gaps for your ears. That's incredible. Wow. Okay. They're quite big. Like, the headband is quite big. <laughs> I feel like I'm just blending into like one whole white thing here. <laughs> I don't think I can pull these off. <laughs> I really don't think I can pull these off, unfortunately. I really like them though. I feel like it's all just kind of blending. Maybe I should have got black ones, but then I think they're too like stark. At least it's got a black hairband. I feel like a koala bear. Now all you can see is a koala bear. A North Face hat. Reese has the black one of this that I bought him. And to be fair, I nick it all the time. Oh my God, it looks so small though like a small, it's just one size. It looks tiny. This is a kid's hat. I feel like I picked up a kid's hat. <laughs> this is definitely for children. <laughs> this cannot be for adults. Oh my gosh, it's small. It's very small. This is what I was saying earlier about things squeezing your head. I'm not looking right. I like the colour though. Really like the brown. I don't know. Can I pull this off? Or is it doing that thing where it squeezes my head? I think it's squeezing my head a bit too much. It's too small, unfortunately. What a shame, because yeah, I always love Nick in his black one, and I thought that would be a nice alternative, but I was wrong. That's 28 pound, by the way. Um, the headband was six pound, and the earmuffs were 14. Now, this is really gonna make you laugh, but, if you are in like a snowstorm, if you do ski on the days where it's really snowy, you will thank me forever that you picked something like this up. But I'm just gonna pre-warn you, it's gonna look ridiculous. But at the same time, I've also seen people wearing these in the UK, and that is more ridiculous. If you're on a mountain in minus 18, you need something like this. But if you're in the UK on a cold day, you do not need a balaclava, okay? You do not. So this, underneath your ski helmet, is gonna be heavenly. And yes, it looks stupid, and yes, you feel like an idiot, but trust me, warmth is everything when you're skiing. You do not wanna be cold because it makes it unenjoyable. However, I've never looked more like an egghead in my life. But you gotta imagine now, I'm gonna have a helmet over this anyway. I'm probably gonna have something up to here. So you're literally not even gonna know it's there. It's just gonna be for warmth. Like, pure warmth. Clearly I've still got a cold. This is probably the most ridiculous I've ever looked on YouTube in five years. <laughs> I hope you all appreciate this. This is only seven pound and I have to say it's so warm and it's gonna keep like all your neck warm, all the back of your head warm. I don't really give a shit what this looks like. I'm keeping this because it is so warm. Seven pound. It honestly feels like wool. Like it feels such good quality. It feels amazing. What a bag. 
that's absolutely amazing by the way i will link everything down below this is from a brand called conclusion by the way i just think it's a little bit more exciting than like a plain black one you know or a plain cream one my ski wear this year i actually bought from asos at the end of last year so i had it in the sale so that's really cool um, and I never got to wear it, so I'm so excited to wear it. It's an all-in-one, and I've never worn an all-in-one. I don't think ever. Maybe I, when I was younger, I might have. But, yeah, I'm really excited to wear it because it's, it's... And I can't wait. I actually need to try it on to check if it still fits okay. Because, like I said, I bought it at the end of last year. And I need to try it on with, like, some base layers and stuff to see how we get on. So, next up, the fleece section. This looks quite small, but... You do kind of want the... Oh my God, that's really small. You do kind of want these things quite fitted. I feel like... Did I just order the North Face stuff in kid sizes? It's just, you know, it's that really small. It looks like an eight. It's meant to be a medium. But anyway, the, the feeling of this is gorgeous. And these kind of things, you do want to go for like quality over like cheapness because you don't know, you might never go skiing again. But if you do because highly likely you'll love it because skiing is amazing and I don't know what's better than it to be honest and I'm not a sporty person so just bear that in mind um these things you will have for like the next 10 years when you go skiing so like you'll wear it every year when you go skiing because you have it forever then also when the winter's like like it is now in the UK it's bloody minus three outside you also have great things to go for a walk like nice thermals so I would say you definitely it doesn't matter if you spend a little bit more, obviously, if you can afford to. Okay, this is by far the best base layer fleece I've ever found or ever worn. I'm not surprised. It is North Face. It is more expensive. However, like I said earlier, these kind of things you have for years because you only normally wear them for a week or two a year. Um, I mean, obviously, you can wear this like walking the dog at home or like going on any cosy cold walks. Or even around the house because it's super, super soft. Um, the quality is amazing, actually. I've never owned a North Face thing, I don't think. And the fleece is inside and out exactly the same. Really nice. Um, I'm wearing a medium. And as you can see, the reason I said this is a great base layer fleece is because it's not too chunky. It's not sticking out anywhere. It'll fit really nicely underneath your... Um, underneath your ski jacket. So this is an absolute keep for me. And as you see, as you can see, I could probably tuck it in, but I think I'm going to leave it worn out for a normal comfy look. But it's a little bit more, but I do think, you know, you'll probably have this for like 10 plus years. So it actually works out price per cost really good. And especially if you wear things like walking the dog too, or just going for a little walk. On your base layers and your thermals. So this is £55, but... You only need one or two of them. So, like, you literally need probably two, I'd say, um, just to mix and match out the week. Unless you're, like, quite a sweaty person. I feel like I just have to say it. Then maybe you'd need a bit more. Um, but, like, one or two for me because I don't I don't really sweat much. Um, and I just, yeah, quite lucky. But, like, Reese maybe, if he, like, skis a lot, he might get quite sweaty. So, like, he would need more so a base layer every day that could be refreshed. But he probably wouldn't even wear a fleece because he's quite, like, just a warm human as it is whereas i'm not um so i'll try that on see how we go next up i feel like we have the same fleece but in a large yes um but this i think is a guy version so um the one i just showed you was for women specifically and then this one is a guy version i guess they're exactly the same yeah they are but this one is just a large and it's 55 pound i think this one looks a little bit cozier but there's a hell of a difference in the size from medium to large it's just i think it's because it's men's and it's so much longer so i guess it depends if you're going to be tucking things in or not just for reference i'm a uk size 12 um yeah look at that length difference from the men's to the women's so much shorter on the women and um I know it is a size difference, but yeah, there's absolute gigantic difference in those two jumpers. <laughs> so I'll try them on and see how we get on. Um, because I would be wearing it like under an all-in-one, if it's tighter fitting, it will be much better. Obviously, if you're going to be like wearing a bigger ski jacket and it's a bit more loose fitting, the looser one and the length will be nice. Um, and obviously then you can wear it like after apres ski, that kind of stuff. Um, and it'll probably be a little bit warmer if it's bigger, I imagine. This one's quite cool. 
I just saw this like creamy colour one. I thought well, that's a bit different. I think this was a men's one as well. Yeah, it was. This is men's, £25. This is from Columbia. So I think Columbia is like a like a cheaper version of North Face, isn't it really? Um it looks quite nice. I don't know, it's giving me a bit of like I thought it was gonna look quite cool, but I actually think it's a little bit like two boy vibe for me, or like young school girl. <laughs> Like, and your mum bought it for you to go on your ski trip. <laughs> we just nothing wrong with doing that. And I'm great, very grateful. And I wish, to be honest, I was back in the days when mum was buying my stuff for my ski trip. Not me. But <laughs> here we are, paying for a mortgage, paying for a ski trip and paying for everything in life. Because I feel like life has just got expensive. But equally, it is what it is. And we got to make the most of it. So, next up, I will go with this North Face Cream Fleece, yeah. Um, so I think it's pretty much the same as the black, but in cream. So I just wanted to show you the size difference and the colour difference of this one. So this one is a large, as you can see, much wider, much more space in it, a little bit more of an oversized fit. I think this was the men's, um, but everything I link down below will be exactly what it is. Um, this is kind of like um, a custard cream colour. I've got to say, I don't love the colour. It's a little bit like... Why is it like bears in an old people's home? <laughs> I have everything on the right person, like a dark haired person. This will look great. It's definitely not a colour match for my my skin though, or me. Um, I might see how it looks on Reese, but I think because it's a bit vanilla, it might wash him out because he's a bit pale. <laughs> he won't mind me saying that because he is. But um, this would look nicer, sort of like tucked like that. But I think it's going to be a no, but I'm called it off white. And this is 45 though, so it's £10 cheaper just because it's cream, I guess. I don't know, but I quite like that. That's a bit more my style. I think I'd probably give Reese the black one and then I'd go for like this cream one. I really like that. And that's in a large, I think it's a men's too. And it, the fit looks good. I'm thinking if I wanted it to be more fitted, maybe I could go like medium men's. Um, the men's stuff seemed to be a little bit cheaper, which is why I went for it. It's got a little bit of subtle brand in there. Um, but yeah, I also wanted to compare the difference between like a 25 pound one and a 45 pound one and the difference is quite substantial. So, just for example, this is the cheaper Columbia one, and inside, I, I'm already gonna tell you, like the, the thickness of the actual item itself, this is probably twice as thick as this. Um, this is very, very thin. I don't think it's gonna keep you that warm. It's fleecy on the outside, but not the inside. Um, whereas this one's fleecy both ways, so you're gonna get that really soft touch on your skin, um, whereas with the cheaper one, you aren't, so. This year, I think I've mentioned it quite a few times now, I'm looking for quality over quantity. So I'd rather have one great fleece than like five cheap fleeces that don't really keep me warm and I don't love. I wanna have like one that's really great quality, keeps me warm and I look great in. And that's that. I picked up an ASOS own just to see how it is. This is actually a really good alternative to the um, North Face one. It's ever so slightly thinner, but not as nowhere near as thin as the Columbia one. Um, and isn't quite as soft on the inside as it is on the outside, but it does look quite nice. Oh my God, it's absolutely very boxy in shape. <laughs> look at that, it's really, really quite square. I'm not sure how that's gonna go on. It does look cheaper, but I think on, and like styled, it might be quite nice, like with the brown and the cream. Um, and it's got little bits you can pull in at the bottom. So you definitely could try and give yourself a bit of, bit more shape with it. Um, but I do think like just looking at it, it does look a little bit cheap, so you'd have to like, really kind of like spruce yourself up or dress up the rest of the outfit to like make it look good but i don't know we'll see i have got some base layers coming from a brand called my ski sunday so i'm really 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 excited for them to arrive because they're meant to be a really good ski brand and it's a brand i've never bought from but have looked into and wanted to buy from from a long time um if you know anything about skiing there's a thing called folly deuce which is like a party on the mountain basically like a nightclub outside in the middle of the mountains um, and all the girls that are like dancers there and stuff, they all wear my ski Sunday. So it's quite um, a known thing, I think, within women's ski wear. But I do think it's still quite new, like at the same time. So, um, yeah. Next up, and another Columbia one, very similar to the last one I just showed you. And again, I just like to get, sometimes I like to get a few to sort of just compare the quality, the difference, what you're getting for your like value for money. And I think that's why I like to make these videos because I like to share that with you to save you doing it all really. Um, this one's a little bit better than the other Columbia one, the men's Columbia one. To be honest, the thin one would be good for Reese because he gets so hot. 
Um, whereas I'm looking for like something that's thick, warm, good quality. I think this is a little bit nicer than the ASOS own one. I like the finish on it. This is like, um, I don't really know what material that is, but I quite like it. Um, and it doesn't look as boxy. Like it's a lot more, it's got a lot more shape and structure to it. And then it's just got simple branding on there. Um, doesn't have any pockets or anything. But yeah, that's quite nice. And then it's just finished off on the cuffs like that. That one is, I didn't tell you the ASOS brand one either, did I? This one is £40 and then the ASOS own one. ASOS own one was only £15.50, which is crazy. So if that looks nice on... I'm going to try that on Reese. I think it's a bit more Reese style than me and it is a men's one. Whereas this one is a women's one. That's probably why it's a little bit better shape. This one I was thinking for around the chalet. So we're staying in a chalet. It's a shared chalet with six other people that we've never met which might sound really weird if you've never done a ski trip but that's if you're booked in a catered chalet that's what you'll have like um it'll be you and then whoever else is booked to go in the chalet we had the best chalet holiday last year with such fun people we had such a laugh and reese got so drunk i've never seen him that drunk in a long time um so we'll see if that happens again this year i also didn't vlog any of our trip last year i just did like a little highlight um real on um instagram but i'm considering whether to vlog it or not i like to switch off when i'm away but equally i love to have like a captured memory of that and like all the vlogs i've done in the past like when we've been away in like mexico or croatia and stuff i i love looking back on them and i know you guys also find it really useful if i give like information on the place as well and like my review of the place and whatnot so let me know what you think about me vlogging while I'm out there or if you'd just prefer maybe to do like a roundup when I get home um, because we're going to a place called La Plan in France so if you've never been on a ski holiday before France is my favourite ski destination that I've been to I did also go to Canada when I was younger but I barely remember it to be honest um, I wish I did because I'm sure it was absolutely incredible but I feel like I was so young I, I just don't remember it that much um, and yeah I've done a ski season in France and one in Austria and just France just has my heart completely, like fully. No part of me wants to go back to Austria skiing. Like I just don't. And I know there's probably some places that are great, um, but for me, France is the one. And I did it in a place called Les Arcs. And this time I'm going back to La Plan, which is next to Les Arcs. So we get to ski the same like mountains, two big mountains. And it's one of the biggest ski areas to ski. Last year we went to a place called Marybelle, which is part of the Three Valleys, which is the best place to ski, pretty much in the world. Maybe you know, maybe not like Aspen or something like that, I don't know, but, um, and it's got like some really, really nice parts, like where really expensive millionaires go, <laughs> and then it's also got like bits that are good, just good for everyone, but it's, it's just epic, it is absolutely epic, the three valleys are, but we just fancy going somewhere different this year, so we'll see how that goes, we might be going back to uh, Maribel next year though, we shall see. This looks great, this is £22, so yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this, like the idea is to wear this around the chalet, but I think I would live in this in the house too, it feels gorgeous. Okay, this one is a yes for me, I just love this one, it's super cosy, super easy to wear, like you're gonna get so much wear out of this at home as well as like on your ski trip. Um, you probably just live in this in the chalet or in the hotel, not gonna be something you probably would wear skiing, uh, however, perfect for, yeah, just like maybe popping down to the shops going for a beer in the evening and whatnot i got it nice and oversized and it really is that just like lovely chunky oversized fit um yeah i really i really like it i like the hood i like the fit i like the length it's not like the other one felt boxy and quite square this one sort of is flattering because there's more movement in the material whereas the other one not so much because it's a little bit more structured which you know gives that a bit like bigger and more structured look but it's got lovely long sleeves nice and oversized on my arms if you can see and i've got long arms but that's how i want things to fit when i want them to be comfy and cozy and i think this was also a bag so yeah. i always do feel a little bit sad that they, like they don't bring the fleece onto the inside because like obviously you want to be that cozy you don't just want it to look fleecy like i want it to feel fleecy so i was disappointed when they don't have the fleece on the inside but this is from top shop i picked it up in a large and it's 22 pound it's quite a boxy style and I think this actually will go quite nice like just with like jeans and Uggs for like everyday looks too. Okay moving swiftly on I think this parcel has the ski jackets in. So like I mentioned you can get all really nice all-in-ones and um ASOS if anyone is tall so I'm five foot nine but when that comes to ski wear like I do actually think I need tall so ASOS does do some really cool 
um, and quite a variation of tall stuff. Lots of the brands just do like standard sizing across the board. Um, but yeah, if anyone is tall, there's a little tip for you. A bigger order than I remember. Um, okay, so I have got some of the tall ski trousers here and I also got a normal length um, just to try them both and see. So I'm guessing that's what these two are. No, this is the regular. So I got some like skinny fitting ones. In the past, when I was younger and I didn't have any style, I wore like the more baggy ones, but I just don't like them. And I feel like they're not super flattering on my body shape. Um, so yeah, I wanted to get a pair of these like more sleek and slimmer ones. Okay, these salad pets. Oh, and it's got the ski skirt. Sorry, I forgot to tell you guys. It's not the mess in the background. Um, it's got a ski skirt in as well, which basically keeps us down so that the snow doesn't go up that if you fall in. <laughs> if you fall on the snow. These are insane. I didn't think they were going to fit me because when I got them on the packet, I was like, oh my God, they look tiny. But the fit on them, I've got a pair of um, fleece leggings on under here and they fit absolutely perfectly. They are just perfect. They've got stirrups on the bottom, so they're not going to come up. The length on them is pure perfection. The fit on them is pure perfection as well. I am seriously sold on these. They are perfect, really flattering. I've only ever had the slightly wider trousers or like chunky ones and I always feel so big I feel like um the Michelin man on the slopes most of the time but I feel like these is gonna help like give them like a nice streamline look so really 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 impressed with these and the quality feels really nice and they are water resistant these are really nice they look quite small for a 12 um but they've got like stirrups underneath so like to keep them in your ski boots, so which is great. Um, they do feel, oh my God, they're gorgeous and fleecy inside. Look at that. You might not even need an underlayer with them to, to like get that warmth and everything. Okay, just to show you guys the difference in the lengths. So these are, can you see they're like not even, I can't get them high enough to do them up. I could do them up if I had them high enough, but they're not long enough in the leg. So this is the regular length of the leg. They're slightly different doing up as well. These do up at the front, the other ones are up at the side, which I actually much prefer because it stops this like bulge in here when you do them up at the side. Um, it gives a lot more streamlined look. However, they have got like bits to pull in and out here, so you can adjust the waist on them. They've also got the stirrups. So I'm five foot nine. If you're under five foot eight, I would say, maybe even five foot seven, maybe go for these um, as an option. They are also fleece inside as well. Nicely made, good quality. I definitely do rate. Next up, we've got this ASOS design, own design top. Very similar to the black, but not as sculpted, not as pull you in. However, it does have a nice fit. I feel like this might go a little bit flimsy after a few washes um, and it is a little bit thinner. Um, I do like the colour, I do like the shape, I do like the length on it um, because you can still tuck it into high-waisted things. So yeah, I do quite like that one. It's coming up like a weird, weird colour. But um, it is nice, it's actually a really nice basic. Why is this coming up so bright? I just have to keep taking it. There we are. Uh, the, you can see the actual colour. <laughs> so it is a nice one. And I think it was a bit of a bargain as well. So this base layer I actually picked up um, as part of the haul and I have not stopped wearing it since I arrived. It's just a perfect basic for every day. It doesn't have to be just for um, skiing. Like I've literally lived in this since it arrived and I've obviously just been in the UK. So it's been great for me. It's really, really versatile, really, really comfy. Really, really like that lovely stretchy pull you in, skims vibe kind of, you know, gives you the shape, gives you what you want, what you want kind of vibe. It's, it's a little bit cropped. So it's just meeting where these are, high-waisted salad pets are meeting. I forgot to mention these are in the tall, by the way. I didn't bother trying the regular one because the tall just fit perfect. And yeah, I really, really like the fit of this. And this is like £10, I think. So this is 100 pence worth staying. Okay, so another nice, easy basic. This one's slightly thinner than the fourth and miraculous one. However, it is a lot softer. It's also not as sculpting. It's like not like tight. Like the other one you put it on, it's like... <laughs> This is not like that, but it's lovely and soft on the skin. So you're not looking necessarily for one that's like skin. I mean, it's skin tight, but it's not sculpting at all. It's not pulling anything in. It's not pushing anything out. It's just extremely soft and lovely on my skin. This is the Pull and Bear one, I think. 
was it Stradivarius? It says STR Stradivarius. Yeah. Which I do really like as a brand. I do really rate. I feel like it's like a bit of a cheaper version of Zara, really, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, I do like that. And, my God, it's so soft on the skin. It's like velvet. It's stunning. Um, but it's got a nice finish to it. Again, nice length. I um, don't know how long it would keep you, but layers, layers, layers. It'll be good for that. Okay, I just popped this on so I wasn't naked. But this is giving a bit like you're wearing your boyfriend's jumper vibes. <laughs> Not for me, the top. However, I wanted to show you these magic leggings i don't know what's magic about them not really doing anything for me they're clearly too big on the waist but i definitely couldn't have gone any smaller on the leg or anything like that they're extremely extremely soft and really hard material to like tell what they are they just feel so soft attached almost like the inside of a blanket um i think it's because they haven't really got like they've got no seam there they're really soft i'm assuming they're thermal and i'm assuming oops, just not that tag off um that if they were right here, they would be very, very, like, tummy flattening. But because they're a bit big on me, they're not. But they're a good length, to be fair. Um, and if you're looking for, like, a female black pair of leggings, definitely going to do the job. I just don't actually know what's magic about them. So if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. <laughs> oh, this is quite nice. It's giving a bit mum vibes, though. <laughs> so I picked up this pink ski jacket. Um... I used to be such a pink girl and I used to love pink, like especially this this like baby pink, but I have gone off it recently. I don't know if it's just oh god the hood. Why did I put this shit fur on? That's that's luckily detachable, so that would be coming straight off if I did decide to keep it. Um but after feeling the difference of the fleeces with Columbia, I've kind of lost faith in the brand, but I don't know, it does actually look quite nice. It's quite a nice shape, but it looks like it'll fit quite nice. It's it's like a quite hourglass shaped coat where sometimes they can be really square and boxy uh, it looks like a good size it's a medium i'd be interested to see what that's like on actually um yeah i think that's really nice it has got oh, i was gonna say it's got black on it no it's got like this um burgundy color this would look really nice with like a burgundy pair of um ski trousers or white or black I mean, because it's got black writing, I think you could go black. Um, but white would equally look really nice, or like a like a cream. But this is a beautiful colour. Really, really nice colour. Really, really nicely made. It's a little bit thinner, I'd say, um, than the other one. It's got the bits to do your sleeves up. It's got a bit to do your ski pass in. Um, nice pockets. It is actually a really nice coat. Um, I've got the medium, and the fit is lovely on this. I'll just do it up so you can see actually. So this is it done up. It's much more flattering, as you can see, than the other one because it's not that puffy material. So from the side, it's giving a lot slimmer look. However, the only thing I would say is if I was going to have a few chunkier layers on underneath this, um, there's not going to be much space for them and it might then look quite tight. And that nice, like, nice fit that I've got going on right now is going to look like it's too tight, which is unfortunate. I actually think the whole hood is detachable. Yeah, it is. Sorry, it's not the fur that's detachable, it's the hood. Um, but yeah, I really I really do like this and I do rate it. I feel like it's a little bit more maybe of like a raincoat than a ski coat, however, unless you're going somewhere that's particularly known for warmer weather or you are going skiing later in the season, then in that case, you'll be absolutely fine because it gets warmer in the season, further on, along in the season. So maybe this is like more of a end of season coat um but it is really flattering and has also got um inside of it it's got the ski skirt as the other one does here um it's got like a funky material i feel like it's got some pockets yeah they always have loads of pocket ski coats there's more pockets this side pouches and whatnot um but yeah i, I do rate this but i don't know how warm it's going to be because it is fairly thin so if you're hot human <laughs> this potentially is for you i'm such a freezer might not be warm enough for me like a beigey cream like that kind of tone would look nice ignore my absolutely stinking slippers where's the other speaker okay guys so i've got the dare to be jacket on it's really nice plenty of space and i ordered it in a 12 and um, plenty of space but like layers i've just got one base layer under it like quite a thin one um, but it, it fits really nice. It's got a bit of shape to it. I do feel like it is quite puffy. Like if you look at it from the side, it's quite wide. But I do think it's really flattering. Really nice colour. 
simple, easy to wear. I think it's a yes from me. It's not going to be my ski jacket, but like, if this is what you're looking for, you can't fault it. It's perfect. Really nice quality, really nice thickness, definitely keep you warm. I'm pretty much sold. Pretty sure the price is epic as well. I'll leave it down below. Finally getting to the moon boots, however. I've ordered two pairs, one of the actual moon boot, and then I've ordered a Steve Madden pair just because we're fancy. No, because they were in the sale and I was like, oh, let's try them. Um, I'll talk to you about them first, get them out and see. And like I said, I had a like a dupe moon boot pair from ASOS last year in the sale. They were from a brand called Truffle on ASOS. Um, and they were fine, like they did the job. I certainly didn't keep my feet that warm. I think I heard that moon boots are really warm. So I'm hoping that is the case. I'm not gonna take all the, um, tissue paper off because at first look they're quite blingy and they're not me I'm definitely not really wearing them um however they do feel really warm really nice they're clearly really nicely made and great quality I would say the cheap pair that I bought were quite hard to walk in because the platform was quite chunky they were also a little bit too big for me I had to wear like really big thick socks and there wasn't anything to like do them up tighter whereas these have and I think the moon boots have things to do them tighter, whereas on them, it was like a for show thing. So they weren't really very practical. Um, probably why I didn't wear them that much, but equally they were handy to have. These are like fluffy in the side. These are very blingy. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that like fleece in there. So beyond the fluff, there's like, there's like um, really soft, gentle, nice fluff. This is decorative fluff. This is really soft lovely fluff that's just going to be stunning on your feet they're a really they're really actually really nice they're really nicely made this material is really nice and they don't look too clumpy too disgusting um they're growing on me they are actually growing on me i feel like i opened them and i was like oh god they're quite blingy like with the fur and the diamante but because it's like i think it's only standing out so much because it's against the white like when it's against the black let's just move this up a little bit they actually might be quite nice. Okay, I take it all back. Take it all back. They've grown on me. I really like them. I think it was as soon as I felt the warm fluff on the inside, I was like, okay, I'm sold now. Right, let's see how much they were. I think they were around moon boot price. Oh no, they were half. Okay, so the moon boots I picked up were £225. You can get some around the £185 mark, I think. The Steve Madden snow boots were 136 but just to bring all that into perspective the ones I bought last year that I just told you weren't actually very good but if you're just looking for a pair to see if you want to wear them like I was last year I think they were like 30 or 40 quid so there's a humongous price difference in them you can also get them on places like H&M Zara did have two pairs on their website um if I can find links, I'll pop pictures of them here. And um, if anyone wants like links to them, just leave me a comment and I will pop you the link of them. If you could be specific about the color as well, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm just gonna send you the black link otherwise because I feel like black is just classic. Goes with everything. It's just what I, it's what I do. Um, I also forgot to mention the price of the ski jacket. That one is 180, which is around average, I'd say, for a ski jacket. They probably go all the way up to like the thousands mark. Ski wear can get really expensive really quick. To, like literally, you're paying for branding a lot of the time though. Um, but you can get them as little as like, well, I say 50 quid secondhand, and then I probably say they start at about 100, 120 pound for a good quality ski jacket it's going to keep you warm so the other one i picked up is 90 so but that like i said dare to be is a, is a much cheaper brand but i don't think it's bad so yeah so these feel really nice um let me just double check they're waterproof because again that might be something that's a bit silly um these are on sale currently as well the steve madden ones so there is a bit of discount on them but i will leave everything linked down below they are currently in stock in full in all sizes at the minute as well. And ASOS did have such a big selection, but I just went for black standard. The moon boots were weird. They only came in like two sizes. So it's three to five or six to eight. And luckily I'm a seven. So I'm hoping that they're gonna be all right. I will actually try these on as well, just to double check that they fit all right. Cause I picked them up in, yeah, I picked them up in the seven. Let's open these moon boots and see if they are worth the hype. 
Okay. So for starters, I wish I had the other pair to compare, but when I do my, um, oh my God, really nervous, excuse me. When I do my what to pack for a ski trip video, which will be coming up in the next two weeks, I would say, because I'm gonna be packing and I'll film it. Um, I will do a comparison, wow. Okay, these, there's, there's no comparison to the cheap ones I had. These are a next level. Oh my God. These are like padded and there's like all kinds of like stuff going on in here that I don't even know how to explain to you on camera and I can't, oh, can you see it? I don't, I don't know what, why, but there's like, it almost feels like a supportive padding all the way up, which is probably what they need considering the platform on them. Um, they're so sturdy, so hard. They feel absolutely great quality. A bit concerned I'm not gonna get my foot in there though. It does look huge. Right, I think that's, I don't know what shoe that is. I think it's the left shoe. Oh my god. Yeah, I can. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I can see, I can see now why they cost that much. However, being someone, like I said, size I am size seven to eight, there's not much wiggle room. And I don't know how much room there would be if I wore I couldn't wear a thick sock. It would have to be a thin sock in them. Like four times the price, what do you expect? But I don't, this is, what I, this is kind of what I'm trying to get at, is like I don't mind paying more if you're actually getting better quality, but if you're getting the same quality, why would you pay more? But you're not, this is a, a game changer in my opinion. And like Rhys said to me earlier about like, I was looking at helmets and he was like, I was gonna rent one. And he said, why, when we're gonna go every year, why would you rent one? Because you'd have to rent every year. So that you may as well just buy a good one. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's actually talk about them. So they've got some branding around here. The more around here and around here. They're a really, really nice soft finish. I don't think they're all this expensive because they have got those like long ones, but I just didn't want like ones that went all the way up my leg. Like I just prefer the look of these. They look a little more like tidy, put together, a little bit more chic. Um, the fluff is quite a classy fluff in comparison to like the Steve Madden ones. Um, they've got a subtle fluff around here and on the front. Um, and then these bits to tighten them. And then this round here, which is just, again, a bit more branding. Um, but yeah, I do really like them. But now I've just worked out that, I'm like, oh God, I don't know how, how that is. I'm gonna just try this one on quickly. This is completely different. This is literally a completely different, even shoe. This feels like a normal boot that you'd put on actually, but just a fluffy one. It's also a little bit small. I can feel my toe right at the edge of it. Is it small? I don't know. This is like top quality Instagram content. Look at me, I'm sat on my floor. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, they're just they're just not the same. I feel like these they're just not the same. They're not, they're not even the same. I feel like I can't compare them. This is like a snow boot, like for maybe like if it's snowing outside and you want to just walk in some thin snow, I think, or like maybe you live somewhere cold, or like you're going to New York for the winter, or you're going like on a cold trip but not a ski trip. That's what I think they're for. I think if you're on a ski trip, these are the ones. That's my conclusion. I'm gonna end it there because I've rambled long enough. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you um, are excited to see the ski, what to pack for your ski trip video, or if you have any other videos you wanna see, as always, leave them down below in the comments and I will do my best to put something together. And if you want to see more of me and more outfits, then head over to my other channels, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. My handle's exactly the same as it is here, at Katie Victoria Holland, and I'll hopefully see you in next week's video. Thank you all so much for being here and have a great day. Bye.